Welcome to Excel Wiz. Today we are diving into the exciting world of AI in Excel. Specifically, we'll explore how to use AI table function to enhance your data management, transform your spreadsheets and make your data analysis a breeze. So we have uh, this sheet that's named AI table. The first thing that you'd like to do, uh, click on any empty cell and type in a prompt on this particular example we are going to use top productivity tools in 2025 so just type in top let's uh, give it a number we would like to have 10 so top 10 productivity tools in 2025 that's the first thing that you need to type in it's the prompt once you're done in the trump with the prompt uh, click on another empty cell and now start tapping in this formula ai.table once you start typing a small drop down will come up with a list of functions just click on the one that says ai.table and you'll get this formula down here follow it for this particular example the first the prompt we've already uh, start, we started with the prompt so the one thing that you will do just go and select on the prompt and close your parentheses and then click on OK and ChatGPT will do its work. See, this is what uh, has been generated. We got our tool name, description, the platform and the pricing. So you may ask, why would you need all this type of information? So what you do, you'd like to, to specify exactly the type of uh, information that you need. And for this example, let's say we just only want to know or understand the year that these tools were released. Let's give it a year. year. And then we will also like to know with the current CEO. Once you're done uh, with that, we can also specify the tool because we also need the tool's name and click on enter. Once you've done that, uh, ChatGPT for Excel will do its thing. And as you can see with the results we got, we have tool, year and notion. So this is how you can use the AI.table function in Excel to be able to get specific information. So in this video, I'm going to show you another method that you can actually do to get the same exact result. So it will be your choosing. Which this second method, or the second method that I'm going to show you, you need to start by creating the the names of everything that you need, that you need the data to be autofilled. For the example, let's, we'll start with tool. We move on to the year. We move on to the CEO. Sorry. We move on to the CEO. And that's it for now. So the next thing you need to do, click on an empty cell just below that. Uh, uh, key in your equal sign and then type in ai.table. Uh, go down to the drop down list and click on AI or table and type in this uh, formula. But for this particular example, your prompt is going now to be you have to you have to put in the prompt like, like we did up up here. So what we'll do we just type in top productivity tools in 2025. and close it then key in your comma and then now what we need to do is highlight the data that we need to be out of field in our table and close your parentheses and then click on enter and chat gpt will do its thing so you can see here we have another table that has the tool uh, the year and the ceo so this is how you can actually use the ai.table method and for those of you who do not know, if your Excel is not uh, updated to the latest model, it may not work. So please ensure that you have your Excel updated to the new, to the current, to the current. And then we have, you also have to ensure that you have chat GPT for Excel ex, uh, uh, installed. If you do not know how to do this please watch our previous video you'll get to know how to uh, insert chat gpt for ai 
thank you very much for watching and see you again in the next video bye